Hey guys, what's up? Billy Cardigan here with Effects and Pedals Arena Corner. And today we're here with the artist, the musician, Kieran J. J. Call Callahan? Callanan. Kieran J. Callanan, who's a very cool uh, rock artist who makes very cool music and uses many pedals when he plays. So, how's it going, Kieran? It's going. How you doing? Uh, pretty good. So, you have many pedals here of different colors, such as green, gray, white, green, blue, white, and other colors, and many pedals that just do the different stuff. Yep. So, how do you implement those pedals to make the rock music that you make? I plug the guitar into here, turn the pedals on and off, and uh, yeah. It makes me very uncomfortable when people touch me, so I apologize to the camera if it's just uh, I awkward. I too. I don't want you to be uncomfortable, but I want you to feel loved and... You're deserving of that. Very cool. Behind the gear. So what does that green pedal do there with the two things? Yep. Uh, the green one with the two things here is the Boss SL20. It's otherwise known as the Slicer. It's like a tremolo, except that it has a bunch of different algorithms. You can go quite hard square wave um, with the way it cuts up the signal. So why would you want to do that? It's a good question, and nobody knows the answer to that. It's a, it's a mystery, one of the great mysteries. And I do notice you have a different kind of voice, so is that, it sounds like you're a British guy. Now, Britain is a very cool history, a lot of great rock music is from there, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones. My ancestry is uh, Irish and Scottish. Scotland is part of the British Isles, Northern Ireland is, although I think I'm from the west coast of Ireland, Galway and County Clare, many generations ago. Uh, I'm Australian. Australian. Australia is a very cool country, too, where they, they also talk funny and different than normal people, but very cool. Many rock bands are from there, I believe. Again, you're not wrong. Very cool. Behind the gear. So what is the next pedal you have on the plate? This one's the reverb. What do you call it? Do you call this a plate, or what do you call this? Um, let's, let's go with plate. I like plate. Uh, the next one on the plate is the RV5. It's the digital reverb. There is a newer model uh, in the Boss line of pedals, but I like this one. It's harsh and horrible. So why do you like it if it's harsh and horrible? Because you want to make that monstrous kind of Slayer type of tone? Because when I heard your music, it sounded more like a pop kind of thing. Okay. It didn't sound like a Slayer kind of vibe to me. But maybe with your live experience, you do that with the Boss. Yes, maybe. Uh, I don't think Slayer would have used too much of this. Um, but they really. might have used it if they knew, but maybe you just discovered that it has a harsh slayer kind of sound to the pedal. Yes. Also, it has a dark color, and many of the metal bands that I enjoy, such as Metallica, Slayer, and others, use very dark imagery, dark themes. So to me, it seems like it would be a very appropriate mm -hmm. pedal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're spot on. You're spot on. Absolutely correct. Uh, yep. Do you want to move to the next one, or do you want to keep talking about this one? Behind the gear. Great, this one's the noise suppressor. This one suppresses any noise that you might have coming through your chain. It takes out any uh, hiss or buzz. So why don't you just turn off the volume on the guitar at that moment instead of pressing the button on the pedal? You could, but then if you have a distortion earlier in the chain, the, the buzz from that gain would still be going. What do you mean by a chain? Because this is just a big... Plate. It's a big plate. This is just a big circle of pedals, yeah. and I don't... This is not a chain to me. Okay, well, I mean, we can use any words you like. It is. It was Billy, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Billy, we can use any words you like. Uh, chain, train. Uh, it does have a train set kind of thing because it's circle like that. Yeah, I thought you might like that if we think about it as a train set. Behind the gear. You're in Philly. Do you like Philly? Yeah, I could probably do without cheese steaks. Uh, yeah, I can't have the cheese steaks anymore because I suffer from um, GERD, uh -huh. gastrointestinal reflux disease. So I have, um, you know, the, the, the bile and the acid leaks into my throat as I sleep if I eat something like that, and then it burns my throat. And I think it's because I'm overweight, but you seem like a hot, in-shape guy, so you pro do you have that or no? Nope. Do you know any people that do? 
uh, I try not to. I'm pretty cool, and I'm somewhat overweight. Not extremely overweight, although I am clinically obese. But um, clinically obese, really? Yeah, by the BMI. Wow, I didn't know that. I'm clinically obese, but I'm moderately cool. But many fat people are just very uncool. But so it makes sense that a cool rock guy would be more hang out with. Thinner, good-looking people. It does make sense, yeah. Plenty of cool, fat people. Who do I like that's big and fat? Uh, um, you know, I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> uh, next pedal here. Um, I, I'm sure I got some fat friends I can I can uh, talk about. You know, maybe I just don't see. I mean, I'm very surprised to hear Jimmy, Billy, that you're. Uh, clinically obese, morbidly obese, whatever it is. Um, uh, Behind the gear. This one here, this is the DD500. It's a f newer one compared to the others. Uh, I just got it not that long ago. I've already snapped this knob off, uh, but I, I don't really use it that much. Not yet, anyway. I'm, I'm, that's why I have it on the chain, is to, is to use it more. Do you um, snap the knob off on purpose, or did it just happen on accident? Honestly, I don't recall. I think the TSA might have snapped it off when they got into my sack and had a poke around. Sack and poke around, are those words from your country? <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Behind the gear. So what is that next pedal you have there? This one's the chorus. So what does the chorus pedal do? It creates a sort of out of phase doubling effect it's very beautiful you'd recognize it from a lot of 80s guitar tones like slayer or uh less so slayer um which uh, 80s bands let's say wang chung i'm gonna go with wang chung wang chung yeah. i don't know it um dance all days that was the big hit for wang chung uh you might recognize chorus from any anything that robert fripp was doing uh He's the old guy from King Crimson. Exactly. So King Crimson is a band. They make this long, boring music, and I never really listened to them, but I someone told me that they were cool, and I tried, and it was kind of boring. So I think they're pretty cool. Um, but uh, but he used that pedal. He uh, not this pedal uh, necessarily, Jim, but um, Billy. He uh, Bill. Behind the gear. So what's your next pedal? The pink pedal. Pink one's a flanger. It was a gift uh, from a fan of mine, which I thought was very sweet and I've been using it a lot uh, it's it's good I click it on when I'm doing a little little guitar solo yeah so you play guitar solos in your music yes because to me guitar solos just kind of you know like you hear a cool rock song and then the instruments start it's kind of boring because you just want to hear the singing and stuff and then why do you why I just want to ask people that do it why do the people do that <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why everybody does it, why I do it. Uh, it's a little bit of fun for me. I mean, it looks cool because it's like a hot guy like you on stage just going like, you know, playing the buttons and stuff. Yeah. But, you know, if you're just listening to an album, I mean, it's cool that you do it. But when I you're listening to the album, it's very boring. Yes. No, you're probably not wrong. Behind the gear. Metal zone. Yeah, what do you reckon that sounds like? So that's like a metal hard rock pedal. Exactly. Yeah. So do you do some cool metal stuff with that or what? Yeah, yeah, I do. Because when I listen to your music online, it sounded more like a Britney Spears type thing, not yeah, really a yeah, Slayer kind I of thing. I understand that. And, you know, I'm a big fan of Britney as well. And so I'd like to hope that I can touch on uh, a bit of the Britney thing, a bit of the Slayer thing, you know, and a few other things as well. Very cool. Behind the gear. So what is this brown pedal? Now it's the brown pedal. An octave pedal. A super octave pedal. So much like the pitch shifters, this one can go down uh, several octaves. It's got this big, deep sub situation happening when you click it on. So it looks like it's a very cool brown pedal, and he has all these pedals there on the board, which look like they do stuff, and he's going to use them to make music here at the John Brenda's venue in Philly. That's correct. Well, Kieran, thank you so much, and we wish you good luck to thank do you. what you're doing. <laughs> Facts and Pedals, Arena Corner. This has been a Shy Boys production.